Give me two again. Yeah, we are 11 now. Okay, I think we can start. Can we start? Okay. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Mr. Alva. Yes, ma'am. Welcome. Thank you. Okay. Um, I think I can acknowledge. Let me see who, who is the Ade. Mr. Fituga, you're all welcome. Donatus I.O., that should be I.O. Adam. James Kenneth, um, Rami Royal, you're welcome. I think we are up to 11 now, and um, <coughs> we should not be waiting for too long, six minutes after our time. Some people send message as we delay the meeting till 8.30, but uh, we cannot do that. That should have been before the scheduled time. I asked for people's opinion on time. I asked since, uh, I think, two days now. Someone suggested 8 p.m., and uh, that's why we are using 8 p.m. today. I believe others will join us as we proceed. We want to start this um and this should take this should take us for throughout the month of june throughout the month of june we would try to see how to get all our team members that are ready to plan forex to see them start learning forex um to see them start using making good use of the products that iMarketLife is offering. I want to start from, I always start from letting people know the value of what we have. The value of what we have at hand, comparing, comparing today, I mean Forex today, Forex today and Forex um, yesterday. It's only when you compare the, what, what we are having at hand with what we were expecting, what we were praying for. That is when we can actually know the value of what we have. From inception, the business Forex had not never been a get-rich-quick scheme, whether it has been an investment platform. But the difference is that it, it, it requires skill. It is a professional field. It's only here in Nigeria that anybody can talk, can teach someone Forex. It's only in Nigeria that anybody can tell someone to buy Euro USD, and uh, the person buys and nothing happens even if he, he, he lost the, 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 the trade. But in a civilized society, that's why someone asked a question last time, is it Jason or Mr. Brandon Boyd posted results and attached a disclaimer that is the standard the United States of America, the government had given in the National Futures Authority, NFA. They are the ones regulating Forex there. NFA had gave a, kept a standard that any, any result posted, anything related to Forex, any claims, anything you are showing, being past result, being present result, it must go with a disclaimer. And if you don't, Put a disclaimer there. If if anybody follows your instruction and lose or lost his investment, he will sue you to court. That is why the disclaimer is in every website. It is a standard. It is universal. There's no website. Even your broker, check your broker's website. There must be a disclaimer. And even in the United States, the federal the Trade Commission, Federal Trade Commission, I think they are the ones regulating multi-level marketing. They also have a disclaimer for network marketing. If you bring three people, you end this, you bring this, you end this, fine. But there must be a disclaimer at the end of it. So if you have never read disclaimers before, when you get to any platform, please check the disclaimer is universal, it is standard. Why that is done is to protect the person that is giving out the message or the information when it comes to litigation. 
we are yet to have um, Nigeria is yet to enjoy regulations. And Nigeria will never have regulations if you and I are not involved. The guys there in the House of Representatives that would discuss this knows nothing about what we are discussing here. The guys in the Senate that will have to pass this to law knows nothing about what we are discussing now. Nigeria will have regulations when the actual participants in the market, being myself, being yourself, are involved in the business. Imagine what, 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 what I, I was telling people that sometime late of 2016 that we will start regulations in Nigeria. That was because I really knew that um, the then CBN governor, Mr. Sanusi, or Emir Sanusi right now, is, is a participant in the market. He trades. I knew that Mrs. Nkosi was said they know these things. They were participants. They were actively involved. They were actively involved in the business. So they can actually know how to draft a framework, something that could regulate. Even at that, we, the retail traders, we, the retail traders, must have to go to National Assembly. They must invite us for a meeting. It, we must be able to send proposals. We should be able to write up something. A committee would be said, you cannot just wake up one day and announce regulations. And it's not a one week program. It's not a one day program. It's a thing that could pl be planned. The government must invest. Already as I'm speaking, I know that CBN have been sending out their staff on foreign trips just to go and learn. They go to Cyprus, they go to UK, they, they are understudying. They are trying to develop manpower. But you and I know that before you understand this industry, you must be a participant for a while, not just a day, not just one day thing. You have to be inside and you have to participate for a long while. That is only when you can tell about the industry. Already, it is it's an established fact that one needs about 20,000 hours to learn a new skill. For you, to, for you to learn a new skill, you need about 20,000 hours before you can actually stand and say, this is me. The only advantage we are having today is in the arrival of Tristeri's ideology of trying to see how he can actually make, bring the Wall Street being kept for only the rich, bringing out the Wall Street to the main street. I think that's what we put in our slide. So that is what I want us to value. We are going to take, we are going to take, it's going to be an educational class. So if you don't have your writing material, I would prefer you, I would suggest you pick up your pen and um, a notebook. I don't like people writing with pieces of paper. I don't like people writing with pieces of paper. Since I started business of Forex, since I started my first classroom, 2010, I've always been having a notebook. And each time I remember something, I have to rush. As I'm speaking to you, I know where my notebooks are. I know that 2011 or 2012, I was using Zenith Bank Diary. I know that I was using um, mobile, uh, mobile diary, not diary from Mobile Nigeria, MPN, QIT, uh, 2000. And... So if I, I know, if I just go to, I know where the diary is. So there's some information I need. I have to refer to my notebooks. I have to refer to my notebooks. The thing is not that we are learning new things. Things just like curriculum of education. What you were taught in JS1 is the same thing you were taught in JS2, is the same thing you were taught in JS3. And before you write JS3 examination, you have to go through everything you were taught, even from primary six. It's the same thing. It's all about keep practicing, learning, learning, learning. Because there's no way you can hear it the first day and it will be as clear as. Me, I had been at that level, I know what it means for someone to listen to a video and someone is talking about candlesticks. Everything put together, you cannot catch it day one. And you and I can confirm that between the date you joined IML and today, that this thing is becoming clearer. At least you're understanding it better. You're understanding it better. The difference now is that you cannot tell what it was before today. That's the difference. 
My value is because I, can, I remember what it was. You did not know what it was before today, that traders in Nigeria had to come together discussing the way forward. How could we do it? There were some set of traders, about five of them, that moved, that moved, okay? It's the same here in UK. Okay, sir, thank you, sir, even in UK. Yeah, UK has regulations. We have the federal um, um, FCA, Federal Financial Conduct Authority, Financial Conduct Authority in the UK regulating. We have um, um, uh, NF, uh, Nigerian National Futures Authority in US. We have Financial Conduct Authority in UK. We have um, CISEC, Cyprus Security Exchange Commission. We have FinSEC, FinSEC. We have, uh, we have too many regulators. And they, I'm so happy for South Africa for giving us a reputation in the forex industry. At least the FSP, the financial service provider, the, that regulatory body is so feared globally. So feared globally. It has a reputation globally, not only in Africa. So these are the things that we had at hand. And this industry is not meant for the poor. It has never been designed for the poor person. It has never been designed for the poor. And countries that are developing from countries that they don't need really, in fact, developing countries were not considered part of this industry. So we started, I always congratulate those that started for us in Nigeria. I don't know them by name, but I know some of them by faces. I know some of them, I've spoken with some of them. I know those people that have sacrificed them to stand still, to build this industry in Nigeria. Despite all the rejections, the brokers did not accept Nigerians, but they were still insisting until they succeeded. Um, the, the brokers that even came into Nigeria, came in with exploits, they still withstood it. The Nigerian government, even at the point CBN was our problem. They want to fund your forex trading account, you have to send bank wire and the purpose of transfer, you have to disguise it. Cannot tell, you have to disguise your purpose of transfer. So this had been the scenario before today. That, was, that is why in, uh, in the last forex expo, African Forest Expo in Nigeria, in Africa, in, that was hosted in Nigeria, after then they are hosting other um, um, expo at South Africa, they are hosting other expo at South Africa. At the expo that was held in Nigeria, which I was one of the guest speaker, let me check, I was to speak on, uh, this, is a, this is a slide I presented that day, I was invited as a guest speaker to speak on uh, African Forest Expo State Business and Investors Conference. The first one was in South Africa, second one was in Kenya, in Accra, Ghana, the third one was in Nigeria. Let me check the topic I was speaking on. The topic was um, introduction. Let me check. Forex trading in Nigeria, the good, the ugly, the way forward. And um, life has two rules. Number one rule in life is never quit. The number two rule in life is always remember rule one. And that is why we have stayed in this industry too today. Despite the time I joined late, those that started it still we stand, still we stood and stayed till today. I do, I know those some has fallen apart. Some of us that joined, not that we joined in the plateau, we still have the ugly experiences and we're learning the hard way. In that slide, I remember that we, I discussed, I discussed so many things, including, including, I think the topics were the brief history of FX and the Nigerian experience. Available, avoidable pitfalls, avoidable pitfalls, 
Come down. The way forward. Please, if you come in, meet all. I meet all. Okay. The pitfalls. The avoidable pitfalls that we never knew at the start. We never knew these are pitfalls. We just discovered it later that, and this, how would you know these pitfalls? We were learning it the hard way. Nobody called us to sit us down and tell us, this is number one, avoid this. When you go here, check for this. This is number two, hey, check. We now know as a, as a student, maybe if we had this in a classroom, we, we should have taken note of them, writing them down. When you see this and this, no, this is this. When you see this and this, this is what it means. We did not have such. We not have such. Avoidable pitfalls. Um, avoidable pitfalls. One was knowledge. Remember? Number two was facilities. Then number three was regulations. Then number four was brokerage services. I spoke on these four issues, these four subheadings. And um, the knowledge was uh, that we, did, we never knew that one could actually... $80,000, $36,000, how much, when, to go and learn? Okay, why don't you allow us to study foreign exchange in our Nigerian universities? Why do we study only accounting, banking, and everything and end there? Why is foreign exchange a build course in university here, and it will be done only one semester or so, for those that are even close to that system? And outside that, nothing is discussed. Why, why, don't, don't you ask questions? Why is it not an, a common thing? So why, do, why, why should the UK have it in their school curriculum? Why should uh, Dubai have a school that can actually give certificate in foreign exchange? Why should India? Why Europe? Why, 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 why America? Why are we not there? Firstly, knowledge had been our, one of our pitfalls. Number two was facilities. 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 For it's not a get rich quick, you have to follow, follow the sound investment principles. It's just like any other, other, any other business. You have to study and understand it first. There's no business that is free. We had, we had difficulties with facilities. I'm just trying to rush through this. Facilities, internet was a problem. Computer, was it cheap? Is it still cheap till date? This is cheap to some people. The average person, can the person have, have afford computer, but not for now that we have refurbished ones? The true computer, <laughs> what is called computer, and what I know by as computer, what I'm using is not even yet a computer. Mr. Tux took me to where I should buy computer, and I told him, sir, I will buy when I'm big. For now, I'm still a young boy. Because the least computer was, that was brought out was from 480,000 naira. That means he was telling me you need a provisional system. But and he took me there and I saw a provisional system and I told him, I'm no, I'm not a provisional yet. 480. So this one you are using 120, 120 computer. It's not even a computer to some people. We discussed a lot of things about even the regulations. I've mentioned the FCA for UK, EU uh, for you, the European CISEC, and um, um this is um for this is, this is on Australia, so these are regulatory bodies. The, the, the FSP now in, in, in Africa. Now, another thing they will not know six ways. I refuse discussing this outside since that African Expo <laughs> have not presented this topic again. Six ways. This was also a problem. Most of the problems we had then was not caused by even our people. We did not know. There were so many things we needed to know. Till today, all brokers in Nigeria are ECN brokers. You ask, are you STP? They are STP. Are you ECN? They are ECN. We are yet to differentiate between ECN slash like HTP. We are yet to differentiate between and uh, dealing decks or market makers. But in a regulated environment, in a regulated country, brokers are licensed differently. The cost of license for STP is different from the cost of license for um, uh, dealing decks. Call it ECN, Electronic Communication Network, ECN. Electronic Communication Network. STP, straight through processing. 
we never till date in Nigeria, all brokers in Nigeria are all EC and are all STP. No broker in Nigeria had come out to tell us we are dealing decks. They are both legal. You can trade with both dealing decks, you can trade with an ECN broker, but at least why don't we know that you are a dealing desk? Then if you are dealing decks, there are regulations guarantee dealing decks. Then the trader should also be aware of these regulations and how to get the rights where it is not right. Why are we no why, why are we like we don't we don't want to, we should not know beyond what we should know? This is still a problem. So we, we discuss. Stop hunting, mark up, sleep edge. I'm not doing that today, but I'm just telling you that knowledge has been our problem and um, swab, leverage, all put together and the way forward. I think we discussed this. So this had been the industry that we are into. We should be able to learn and understand this industry. The advantage we are having today, joining Forex today, is that we have been able to see some people that had gotten the experience the people that had learned the hard way, we should be able to learn from them. Nothing should stop you from learning from others. At a given time, Nigeria was known as an indicator trading country. At a given time, we were like stigmatized. It was a good mix in the market. We meet with Asian traders. What they talk about Nigerians is uh, indicators. And we kept buying indicators, buying robots from the market, buy robots, buy indicators. Every day, Nigerians believe in, when, when you buy an indicator, the, the cost of the indicator alone gives you your confidence. You don't believe any other thing again. So at that point, at that point, we are now at the age that the real thing has come. The truth had been, Put together, IML had come up with a platform that a novice can actually join the business. A novice can actually become an expert within a day, within a week. You are taught the real things. You are not taught from baby pigs or come. You are told what you need to know and exactly what you need to practice on daily basis. So at this point, I would love to take us through the trend. I'll take us through the candlesticks. I will discuss about the support and resistance. I'll discuss, um, may not discuss chart patterns today, but I'm sure if we have time, we'll take that. And this will be done on live charts. This will be done on live charts. You should be able to see this practically on live charts. And whatever thing you may wish to ask as a question, you can message and we present it to you we can answer your question. I think that question session could help us to could help us to do more. We would analyze live charts, but the, this week we are having um, um, this week we are having public holiday tomorrow. Public holiday tomorrow. In, in terms of trading, public holiday on Monday. Let's check. How many countries have holidays tomorrow? Um, Monday is public holiday in, um, let's check together. This is, we have started the training proper. So let's check the calendar for next, for Monday and see if we will have to be in the market tomorrow or not. This is the reason we have I think I've mentioned before, we have trading days and trending days. You can take note of them. You may ask question if you don't understand. Trading days and trending days. Trading and trend, T-R-E-N-D. T-R-E-N-D, trending and trading. Because we would have to consider today is 28 and um, what am I looking for? Tomorrow, Monday. Okay, I'll just click on more. More. Wow. Calendar for tomorrow. See more. 
Okay. Mo. Monday, we have public holiday in China. We have public holiday in UK. We have public holiday in the United States of America. So these public holidays, you can see that we only have President Draghi speak tomorrow by 2 p.m. He controls about 20, it was 28, about 27 central banks uh, in the European countries. Uh, he has a very big influence when it comes to currency markets, but we don't know the impact because the Asian, the UK, and the Europe, and the US would be on holiday. He'll be speaking on, the, okay, he'll be speaking at the parliament before the Economic and Monetary Affairs Committee at Brussels. So we don't know the impact of the speech because otherwise that tomorrow would be a day with the lowest trading range. So whatever analysis we would do today, would be based on it will be on educational purposes we will have to meet when the market open tomorrow we should be able to meet tomorrow monday night to check real possibilities to take live trades from tuesday now on when on on uh, that same week friday friday we also have the major news for the week and that should be the biggest news for the week, Friday. Friday will be non-farm payroll. Are we seeing it? Non-farm employment change by 1.30 p.m. So while the market is waiting for Friday, there will be a lot of consolidations. There will be a lot of retracements back to support or breaking of support or breaking of resistance, preparing for whatever results we will have on Friday. 1.30 p.m., Canada and USA. The biggest news for the week is the non-farm employment change. So for next for the week we are starting this night, we have the biggest, um, the biggest fundamental on Friday. And when fundamentals are about to create impact, what the market does is it ranges. It ranges at a shorter or smaller range between support and resistance. So that is the position of trading for the week. We will be doing this Sundays, and um, I think we should be doing it, I would love to do it daily, but I will not be able to avoid disappointment. For the market starting on Tuesday, we should be able to meet tomorrow evening and analyze live trades. So for now, for sake of um, learning or education, I think we should proceed still straight to discussing about the trend. Let me look for a chart and we'll discuss the trend first. After the trend, we discuss support and resistance. And uh, we discuss uh, trend, support, resistance. Okay, let me share the MT4. It is a practical class. So you can take notes you can ask question. If you want, if you can chat, you chat. You cannot chat. You can unmute yourself and uh, ask question. Um, why we do the analysis? If I use terminologies or if I use a term you are not familiar with, you can actually pause. Can actually pause me and ask question. I would love to answer your question so that we understand what we are doing. I have enough time. I'm the account is a, a premium account, so we can stay as long as possible. Now, I want to discuss the trend. Let me not use a chat we have used already. Okay, let's use this for you to see a trend. Okay, let's take it, let's take it gradually. Number one, trend we have only two types of trend two only two please take note we have only two types of trend i was taught that we had three trends but later as i grew up i discovered that one was not a trend 
the trend is only two, which is the bullish bull, B U double L bull is an animal, bear is an animal, so the bullish and the bearish trend. Bullish and bearish. And those are the only two things you need to be successful in forest. You need only the bull or the bear. If you know the bull or you know the bear, you are okay. Whatever method that could actually help you to identify the beginning of a trend, that thing you should value it most. Anything that could help you know that this is a trend and is about to start. You can catch it up. You, you are very lucky to have it. So trend is either bullish or bearish. How do we identify a trend? The characteristics of a trend. One, um, the bullish trend is when price is forming higher highs and higher lows. Higher highs and higher lows. In case you are writing, when price is forming higher highs and higher lows, that is a bullish trend. One, how do we get higher highs and higher lows? Before you can tell about a trend at any given time frame, please, you have to zoom out. So what we saw the charts here, I now zoomed out. In your, in your, on your mobile MT4, all you do is to squeeze the screen. It will zoom out for you. Squeeze the screen. It will zoom out. You increase it by enlarging it. So here we zoom out here. We don't need the candle at this point. We need only the wave to see the trend. And in this particular chart, we have been able to notice that from this point, price was going up, which is bullish. This is what we mean by bullish trend. From what dates? From on the one hour time frame, on the 4th of 11th of April, 11th of April 2017, price was now moving up and as high as the highest point was on the 5th of May 2017. So the trend started here up to this point. So the bullish trend, what I mean by higher highs and higher low, please take note. This is a low, this is a high. This is a low, but this is a higher low, a low higher than the previous low. This is a high, a high higher than the previous high. This is another low, can see all the lows we have here are higher than previous lows. Even here, higher than previous lows. All the highs we have, higher than previous highs. Low, higher than previous low. High, higher than previous high. Low, lower than, higher than previous low. High, higher than previous high. Up to the highest high. So you could call this the highest high and the lowest low. Lower, low, lower, high, lower, low, lower, high, lower, low, higher, low, higher, higher, low, higher, high, higher, low, higher, high, higher, low, higher, high, higher, low, higher, high, higher, low, higher, high. So when price is forming higher lows and higher high, it is a bullish trend. You can see that with your eye. You don't need any indicator to tell you that. Now, when price begins to form lower highs and lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, it retraced here and started again, lower low, low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high. So currently, we are in the bearish trend that started on the feet 
of May. And if you remember, if you joined my video, it was on Zoom, that day we took a cell position here. Whoever remember that, whoever was with me on Zoom that night, and the recording is on my Facebook page, Imaban Selfex Global Services. The recording of that night is there. I remember it was recorded, it was posted there. If you check Imaban Selfex Global Services, the page, you see the video. We took this trade here. Why did we take this trade? Because we were able to detect a beginning of a bearish trend. And how were we able to detect and enter the trade exactly here? One, it was because of the harmonic pattern scanner. The harmonic pattern scanner has the tendency of identifying a possible turn. I said earlier, anything that can help you know when the trend is changing, please value that tool. You don't need to know much. All you need is being able to see the trend. Is it up? Okay, now that the trend is up, when will it turn? It cannot go straight. It, it, it cannot go forever. Trend goes higher high, higher low, higher high. It's a zigzag movement. So now what you need, even if, in fact, if, you are, if you are spiritually minded, you can dream and be able to detect a turn, a change of trend, either a reversal or a retracement. Take note of those two words. Either the trend reverse or the trend does what? Re, uh, reverse or retrace. What I mean by retrace is when it's forming the zigzag, so it goes up, comes back, that's retracement, goes up, forming higher high, come back, form higher low, go up, form higher high, come back, form higher low. That is retracement. Keeps moving like that. That's how it moves. You met it on the way up. All you are now looking for is by even by if you can pray, pray that you should know when it's about to turn. If you can catch it at the turning point, and I have not seen any tool that is so accurate in detecting a possible turning point than the harmonic patterns. I've not seen any pattern, any tool in the forest market since we started that is very good at detecting the turning point than the harmonic patterns. I've not seen any. I've not seen anything since we started trading that is able to be so accurate in detecting the turning point of a, of a trend than the harmonics. Remember, what I said earlier was that we don't value this product because we do not know what it was. Harmonics was just new to our market here. I think 2011 or so is a new thing and most traders started learning harmonics. Some people could not even learn again. Some people are learning to draw the harmonic patterns. And now, fortunately enough, we have something that is drawing the pattern for us. You don't need the stress of learning how to draw anymore. If you want to learn how to draw, why not go to IML Academy? Go straight to harmonic pattern as a course. We have it. We have the harmonic course. I can show you if you want to see. If you don't have it in your back office, log into your back office, go to IML Academy. Go straight to the harmonic pattern course. And see if you can learn and catch how to and know how to do it. Because the only way we can do it is to learn how to draw the patterns, which is very difficult for you, a beginner. Then why not just leverage on the, the expertise? Why not follow the, the scanner? It detects, it detected this. The video is there. The video is there. Remember, I recorded it, I posted it. I posted it on that group. With that night was the feed, it was on the feed. Feet of um, May. It was on the feet of May. We had that recording. We had the conference call. It was attended by. Let's check. We had it here. We had it here. On the feet of May, we took the trade based on the harmonic pattern, and I'm going to show you how much that trade had made. Had been on that trade till Friday. I've been on it till last Friday. I've been on that trade till last Friday. The trade we took on the 5th of May, 
had been on that trade till last Friday, and the recording is here. I want you to see the value of what you subscribed for and maybe did not value it because you did not know what exactly it offers. The harmony pattern is enough to make you, to give you the required, is it, do you remember now? Weekly, weekly, okay, this is it. I Market Life Nigeria Weekly Team Call, 0505 2017. 0505 2017, if you check here, you will see the recorded, this was the food session of the week. That week I had four live sessions. I published it on our chat rooms. I knew those that attended the session. I knew those that could not make it to the session. This is the trade that we took from the Harmony Pattern Scanner. Like the page, go to the page you see. Let me continue from where we were. We have, um, is the screens, well, have you seen the screen? Did you see the screen I just showed? The no screen came up. Okay, can you see it now? It's up now, yes. In, uh, yes. This is I Market Live Nigeria weekly team call on the 5th of May 2017. Those of us that were there were able to see that we took trades from the harmonic pattern scanner, and the panel harmonic pattern scanner detected when the train was about to turn. And when we saw the setup, we actually took the trade. I did the analysis from the scanner and we took the trade immediately. We were the only people, it's only from the scanner that you can take trade from the beginning. I mean the tip. The thing will pick you up from the start of the trend. You cannot miss it. It's up, and it took us some days. We had to stay there patiently waiting. It was here. You can check my page, check on the 5th of May, you see the posting. Now, I go back to the MT4. I go back to the MT4. The MT4 share, okay? Go back to the MT4. So I'm, I'm, what, I'm, I'm, what I'm saying here is, where is the MT4? Is it lost? <laughs> okay, I think this is where we came from. It is, only when you have any tool, whatever system, please quote me, whatever system you know you've used before or you will ever use that can actually give you the trend. Detect trend reversal or detect trend retracement. Please value that too. Value that too. Now, I'm done with that. Let me show you how we did the analysis that day, if I could remember. The analysis was this. The analysis was this. Who should be calling me and not understanding what is going on here? The analysis was this. On the daily charts, can you see how we take the trend? Please take note of how we take trends. If I was at the conference room, I should be using the whiteboard, the screen. Can we can I have the screen here? The white chat, the flip chat, sorry. Flip chat, thank you. I'll have to have it here. What we did was this. The trend, please take note of another salient point. Take note of another salient point. Trend, trend, trend is not from, the trend is not known from small time frame. Trend is not known from small time, smaller time frames. The smaller time frame is not the controller of trend. The smaller time frame does not control trend. If you have quoted me, please write that down. When you want to start your analysis, depending on which time frame you want to trade, you have to do multi time frame analysis. Multi time frame analysis. You need the multi time frame analysis. The bigger time frames are the True tell us the, 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 the truth. They, they tell us the truth when it comes to trend. You check on the bigger time frame and know the trend. We check this trend that night. Check that video. I remember that I did this. Now let's check the trend on pounds Canadian dollar. It started the bearish trend when can you see the date? You can see the date. Can someone see the date? 
Yeah, you can I see the date. You can see the date. Or it's just yeah, I can see. It. Okay. Can zoom, zoom in. Anyone can zoom in. I think it is. That was October. October 1998. Are we together? Yes. He started trending, forming lower highs, 2002, 98 to 2002, form another lower high, 2004, form another lower high, 2005, form another lower high, 2007, form another lower high, 2008, and uh, went to the lowest of it on 2010. After 2010, it consolidated Consolidation, that's between here and here, no movement, no train, no train here. This is what I mean by no train. This is clusters of candles and actually started a new train by 2018 and formed a new high 2014, formed a new low 2014, formed a new high 2015 March, formed a new high 2015th August. And again, returned back on a bearish trend and formed another low on 26th October. And this, this acknowledged this support zone. This acknowledged this support zone. Now this happened, this is how you know the trend. You cannot know the trend from one hour. The true trend of the market, of the price, you should check history, use the history to do your analysis. Now we came to weekly, we saw the same thing. We came to weekly, we saw the same thing, the same trend. We came to daily, remember, we saw the same trend. Okay, with this now, this is when we said, what do we do? How do we decide this trade? I now decided to check using, take note of this, using the Fibonacci tool, let me delete the first one. Delete. Okay, thank you. This was what we did that night. This is A, this is B, and we're looking for C. And when we brought the Fibonacci retracement, see where I pick it, if I draw Fibonacci retracement. I picked it here. I discovered where the last, the, 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 the high, where we started the journey down. I took it to point B, and I was able to see that price was here at 61.8. When a movement starts, it retraces. It comes, it retraces, and now we are at 61.8% retracement. Please use this. We are now at 61.8% retracement. At this point, we are at 61.8 retracement. Now take note of what Fibonacci tool had did. Fibonacci tool had done one thing for us by showing us when the price, no, monthly, it is bearish, daily, weekly, bearish, daily, bearish, meaning that the true trend is bearish from this date till now, it is still bearish. So what we are seeing now is not a reversal, but it is called retracement. In, uh, in uh, Elliot's world, they call it correction, price correction. It has to retrace at least within 50 to 61% of the entire journey from A to B. Let's check the journey from A to B. How many pips? Please answer this call. You know you should be disturbing me now. Answer it. From A to B, we had 3,355 3, pips. And it is wow. retracing, yeah. And it is retracing about 50 to 61%. 50 to 61%. 50 to 61% of whatever it moved. That is retracement. Every technical trader, Every technical trader knows that when price moves, it must retrace. And when it retraces, it must retrace at least up to 50 or 
Are we, do you understand what I mean? It must be traced at least 50% or 61%. So this is where everybody that was selling the trade, this that was selling this product from what date? December 2015. Whoever that was selling will now close the position and wait for this point. So we call it A, B, and C. And at C, we now have, we have our C between 50 and 61% of retracement. This is when every other person is ready to sell again. So the selling starts here again. And when we did this, check, take note, we have this history that this level had been a previous resistance. It has been a previous support resisting here. I'm now coming in with support and resistance, but I should not confuse you. I was talking about trend now. But if you can be fast, you can see that there was a resistance here, 2018 December, resistance here, 2018 December, and a break above. Since then, this zone became support 2014, became support 2014, became support 2015. So this level- Hello, hello Mr. Albert. History, yes? Please, let me ask a question. Please. You said you are envisaging a retracement at 61.8%. Yes, ma'am. Will, will all retracements always be at 61.8? Is that okay. what you're saying? Okay. All retracements. Hello? Yes, I can hear you. All retracements, when a movement in a trend, all retracement is between, between the range of it must the price must return between 50 uh, to 61. This is more conventional, more usual, more often. It's always like it likes doing that. Okay. Okay. But that doesn't mean that we still have 70. Yes. Can I, I will well, I want to ask a, a very technical question now. Now uh you started selling at this at the at this point that is from the from uh, the very from the very top there. No, not here, not here. No, I'm talking okay, about after A. Yes, okay. from the very top. Now, now okay. as a trader, if you enter this trend from here, now you you're selling. You've been selling since when it started selling. It it retraced here, I think to A. Then it started coming down to B. Now, how do you know that at this point of B, you need to you need to exit this street because most of us that are inexperienced or don't have that experience you have will not know that at this at this B point it is retracement. We will feel that we we'll feel that at the point A, whether it 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 went up a, uh, it it went up a little, it will also go down. But at this point, it went up fifty percent of you know the actual movement. So when do we when, how do we, how are we able to detect that at a point? It will go back to 50%, and it is for us to exit at that point before entering it again at that 60% or 61.8%. Okay, thank you. That's a technical question. Thank you very much. Now, take notes with the Fibonacci tool, the trend remains intact as far as price is still within the range of A and B. That's number one. Do you understand what I mean? No. Yes. As far as point A and B remains intact, and price has the right to do anything inside here within A and B. Anything that happens between A and B, we still have 74, we still have other points here. But whatever happens between A and B does not signify a change or a reversal of trend. But when A is taken out, whatever happens that we now break this A out, Please change your bias. The trend has changed. So A B range is not a signal that the trend has changed. That's one. Then the question you asked was this. Let's see. Let's see if we can have a little. Let me see, zoom in once. Okay. We were having low, higher low, lower low, lower high. Sorry, lower low, lower high. Lower low, lower high, 
lower high, lower low. low. And, and suddenly, suddenly it started doing this. It has now come back here. It does this. It does this again. Anytime a new high becomes higher than the previous one. Okay. Understand what I mean now? Anytime yeah, a yeah. new high. Yeah. Can you see my is, can you see my whiteboard? Yes. Can you see my flip chart? Yeah, we can, but it's a little bit far. Is it better? Yeah, it's better, quite better. Okay. Now we're forming in a bearish trend now. When the price was forming this, that is a zigzag movement. Okay. That's high, lower, high, lower, high, lower, low. Now, anytime whatever consolidation will happen, but whenever this level is taken out, at this point, whoever took the long bearish entrance, that is whoever sold from here, maybe this guy took out this level, out this level, this one, you can exit. I've answered your question. Your distance is very far away. Your the board is far away. Yes. Wow. <laughs> this one is Clara. Clara. Whenever this happens, there will be some consolidation. But whenever a new high breaks the rules of Higher high, lower low, lower high, lower low, yeah. lower high for very strain. Now something yeah. happens that the rule of lower low, lower high is broken. That we are now having a higher high, higher low, higher high, high, higher low, which will always it's occur at a given place. Do you understand me now? Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. What happens? Yes. Whoever that took the sell from here would exit the market. Mm -hmm. And when he exits the market, what the person will do is to identify the beginning of the movement, labeled A, and now identify the, the lowest of the movement, label it B, place the Fibonacci, and watch out for 51 or 50 or 61.8 percent retracement, which is always almost if regular, it always happens. Is it understood? Yes. Okay. So when this happened, that a new high takes out the former high, it means it is no more. It is no more lower, low, lower high. Now we have now started witnessing higher high. Higher high. Higher. Higher. higher, low. higher. Yes. Okay. So now number one, let me give a strategy for those that are traders. If you sold this here, when the trade comes here, you move your stop loss to break even. Are we together? Yes. yes. It comes back to form a lower high. Maybe it moves back. You move your stop loss from break even to this one. To this one. Into it profit. Back. Sorry? You are moving it into profit with the second yeah, position now. To, to stop profit, fine. It, does, it did this again and it comes. You move it again to here. You keep moving it to here. So when it comes to do this, you are out. Even if you are not in the market, it will take you out. That's when you are trading right. manually. It will take yeah. you out even if you are not closing profits. And each time we have this, this is a possibly a possible entry point. It will always give you entry point, entry uh, um, uh, option, offer. You, have, you always have, uh, um, you will have opportunity, entry opportunities. Because when you place your trend line, connecting this high to the next available high, you'll be able to see the future. So some people that trade counter trend lines would be buying after this place. It has broken the trend line and they'll exit their stop loss. I've answered your question, sir. You understand? Sure. Okay. Okay, now let me proceed to how to identify trend. I think that's what I've done today. Even if I cannot do more, 
but take note of how to identify trend. Why am I not hearing your voice? Wow. Mm -hmm. Please, check your phone. If you are using phone or if you are using computer, check on the right. Check on the right. Can you see my screen? Okay, let me show you my screen. Um, that is uh, Modesta. Can you see my screen? You see where I have my, my mouse, my... Um, please chat me. Are you using computer or phone? Let me know what to answer you. If you are she using phone... She cannot hear you. Uh, she cannot... Modesta should be a woman. She cannot hear. Can you chat me? Okay, let me chat her back. You. Okay. Are you using phone or laptop? Are you using phone or laptop? Oh, that's another person I'm talking to. <laughs> Can it is for who is this? Uh, okay. Okay. So now, when she, when she responds, I will, I will I will come back to her. Let's proceed. Um, using phone or laptop. Let's proceed. So now. So we have seen the trend. Please let me, let's get it clear. Please mute your mute your mic, please. You can unmute yourself when you want to talk. Thank you. I've muted all again. Okay, if you want to ask question, you can unmute yourself. Now we have taken note of the trend. What I mean by trend is this, when price is forming lower lows, lower high, lower lows, lower high, lower lows, lower high. We are in a bearish trend. When price is forming higher lows, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, we are in a bullish trend, the opposite of bearish. Now, the salient point is this, the trend is known from the bigger time frame, not from smaller time frame. So we could say that bigger time frame controls the trend. Bigger time frame controls the trend, not the smaller time frame. That's why I had to go to the history of pounds Canadian dollar to be able to check the trend from 2000, 1998, August, till the lowest point as at 2010, and we now detected it forming higher lows. And we have to be able to come back to daily weekly, see it saw the same thing, came back to daily, and saw that we can actually do our analysis here. After finishing the trend detection, we can actually go back to the candlesticks now. So I'll finish with trend. Any question on trend? I've shown you the trend. I've shown you how to detect a reversal and how to detect a retracement. Reversal is when the trend takes out this low. I mean, retracement. When it takes out this, you now wait for 61% or 50. Between 50% and 61.8%. And that does not mean that the price cannot still retrace up to 70, 74.8%. 74.8%, you can only add it on your, if you modify your Funashi tool and add it, otherwise that it wouldn't be there. It's possible to break above, but this is the most common and conventional one, 50 to 61, when this happens. And the trend will be considered reversal. It has changed trend when we take out the A. So as far as the range between A and B, the range between this level and this level is concerned. This is what we mean by range. 
far as this range is concerned, here to here, the trend is not changed. The trend is not changed. That is not much about the trend. And when you are done with identifying the trend, if you want to trade one hourly, you can go back. Want to trade four hourly, you can go back and look for trading opportunities that conforms with the trend. The trend is our friend, and the only friend we have in this business is the trend. Every other thing, uh, Jara, just every other thing is purely add additional. It is only the trend that gives us money. So what I mean there is this, when you get the trend, when you are done, you are convinced that you have gotten the trend. You can go to even one minute, you want to trade one minute, and ensure that whatever decisions you take, that you are not against the trend. The trend. That was why- but, uh, Mr. Alba, Mr. Yes, Alba. Yes, this higher low, higher high. By the time it's going higher high, and you are on a downward trend, and it's going higher high, sometimes this higher high can go as a high as a 50 pips. Am I right? To form a higher high? Yes. In Why between do you the former high to the new one, it can be up to 50 pips. It can be Am more. I right? It, it can, can be, be more. more, right? Yes. So if you are using a low... It can get to 100 pips. Yes, it can be up to 100 pips. Now, yes. if you are using a low equity and you are seeing yourself like 100 pips in a loss, right? Yes, yes. It can be alarming. It can be alarming. You will yes. not like to take a risk of 100 pips, for example, in a particular trade. If you are going on a very low... Uh, equity. I understand you have a, a fat equity, you can say, okay, you can take up to a hundred feet uh, stop loss risk. And uh, no matter how high it goes, you cannot go more than hundred feet you retrace it, and you know you can be in profit. Not so. Yes, let me answer your question. Go ahead, please. That takes us to the next topic. Your question takes us to the next topic. Remember, we have discovered, we, we have discussed it. Mr. Mr. Alban, let me, yes. let, me, let me come in here before you go to the next topic. I think, okay. I can, for me, if you, if you are selling, and it's a sell trade, and you're selling, you're in a sell, and because you have a fat account, where it does not really, it does not matter where you enter the trade, but because you have a fat account, you think you can you can can do the retracement for hundred pips. You know you cannot, as according to what you said, that it will always go retracement in fifty to one point eight, and that if it exceeds that point, that means the trend has changed. So I think I I, I think it will be risk to be a very high risk. Having no the trend, the trend uh, the, it is tracing for you to be in, in trade. For me, I think it's best for me to put when I see it is not for me high high. So for me, because as it's for me high high, it means it is retracing. And if you do a Fibonacci uh, uh, retracement, it will tell you where it traces to that 50, between 50 percent, 61 point point. And having known that. And for me, I feel I will have to pull out and enter as a sell, as a, as a buy to that uh, 50, at least to 50 to 50 percent, which will be at the same height, because uh, it is it is more likely to start saying again 50 percent. And as you said, and if, if they see 61.1, that. that means the trend is reversed and it is not is not a a a, a big trend. Okay. But in doing that, you are working against the trend. If it's a bearish trend and you are entering a buy, that is against the trend, also, Mr. Let me answer your questions now. Go ahead, please. Can you see this? Can you see this? Yes, I can far? see it. 
I can see it. Is it far? A little far from me. Yeah, I suggest you. I suggest yes, you use Zoom. Why not? Why not put the screen, the board screen, on your main screen so that we can see it boldly. Yeah, okay. that's what I've done. I've zoomed to his uh, picture. I've zoomed to uh, your picture, Abad. I've zoomed to Let's it, so everyone can yeah. zoom to your picture. Let's use um, the MT for now. Let's use this where we are. Okay. Okay. Um, how do we talk to this lady? She she's using phone. She cannot hear us. I'm not connected on phone. Let's uh, do this thing on our on our left side now. The audio. Can you chat her privately for me? Okay, let me do that. Modest, what is uh, the name? The name is uh, okay. Modest. The name is uh, Modesta. M O D E S T A. Uh, she's it? going to distract me. Uh, Okay. She will watch the video later. Am I recording this? Please record yes, it. I'm recording. Okay. Okay, now. Um, the question you ask, there are two things involved. Number um, one. Number one thing involved is, one, you should not take decisions against a trend, which was one. Number two is, what can only keep you what can only keep you is the proper risk management. Okay. It can keep you as long as possible. Okay. Proper risk management. But let me tell you, I don't want to skip support and resistance now. Number two, nothing will make you stale. Please take notes. Let me take support and resistance. This is a, the, the record. You remember these two green lines? Here. Yes. We saw this and we saw this. Yeah. Yeah. What we mean by support and resistance are like this. Those that play football all on the, even football, if you bounce football here, it will bounce, it will hit the ceiling and come back. Mm -hmm. that's true. So the, yeah. the, the game, the game of support and resistance is that the floor becomes a support and the ceiling becomes the resistance. Are we together there? Yes. So price, price has a floor and has a ceiling. And, okay. um, and by the theory, by the theory of the market, history, okay. history keep repeating itself. History keep repeating it itself. Does. So when you get to a point of history, you must not take notes that it, that history is going to repeat itself. It's possible to repeat itself. Now, wow. This point was was a support. This was a support some times ago, 2014 November. It was a support. This was a resistance and support simultaneously, 2008. Let me shift this. That is Monday. So this level have been supports, and we have seen resistance. Former support becomes resistance. I was trying to write here resistance. As former support becomes future resistance. resistance. Former support becomes future resistance. resistance. Former resistance becomes future support. That is a game of support and resistance. The mature rule about support and resistance is that. Who is this noise from? Number two rule about support and resistance is that history must repeat itself. History must repeat itself. That level that was support some years ago, 2014, at 2017, is now a resistance because price is coming from under. When price is above it, it was support. When price is coming beneath it, it becomes a resistance. <laughs> If it breaks, if price breaks this level now and come up, it will now become support. Are we together here now? Yes. Okay. So when you are about to sell in a bearish trend, for instance, you have to make sure that you are selling below the resistance. Are we together there? Okay. The rule is this. You buy low and sell high you only buy from low 
and you only sell from the high. You don't buy high, you don't sell low. So when you detect the trend, please endeavor to detect support and resistance. Support and resistance are not straight lines as drawn here. Support and resistance is a given zone that candles cluster. Candle cluster, see, they are here clustering. It has history about the same level. It has history about the same level. See the history, the same level, candle clustering, candle clustering, candle clustering. So you can actually say this is former resistance. It has been a support, resistance, support, resistance, clusters of candles. Are we together here? No. Wow. Support and resistance. What is support and what is resistance? Support is where the price has a bottom, cannot break below that place. And resistance is when price is moving up, like we were all buying, at a given point, it refused to break above that level. That level, what you will see there will be so many candles clustering there, like in the scenario here, in the scenario here, we just saw this one, candles came here and was clustering, has a high, I could not go below the, above this. We now check the history. We have the same clusters here. We have the same clusters here. We have the same thing here. We have the same thing here. So we now brought in a horizontal line and tried to detect this zone. So this zone is a resistance. This zone was a support. This zone is now a resistance because price is coming from below. This zone remains a support zone. Are we together now? Am okay. I understood? Okay. So now when you detect the trend, the next thing is for you to detect former support and resistance levels. You will only sell below, you will always sell below the resistance and you can only buy above the support. Take note of those things. Sell below resistance, buy above support. Am I understood there? Yes. So there's what we mean by when you hear someone told you you had a wrong entry. Wrong entry means that you entered it at a you entered a trade at a wrong entry position. The price tells you when to enter and tells you when to exit. Yes. And if you miss the entry point, please don't enter again. Okay. Your entry point one is that you, you will always sell at below resistance level. You will always buy above support level. Meaning that when price was here, you will sell. When price is here, you exit. When price broke below this, we sold. When price came to the former history, which we saw the history of candles clustering here, everybody is taking oh, profit okay. out of the market because they believe in history repeating itself that possibly when this price comes here, it will not be able to break this level. Not because of anything, just because we have seen the history that this level was a support. That's another problem. This, that's another question, answer to this question. That's another answer to this question. That we now saw that price has reached a support zone that has history. Someone will take profit here and stay out of the market. Before the market even returns to form C, you were out. What made you to go out was because of your knowledge of support and resistance. Am I understood? Yeah. Sorry? So, uh, to an extent, we we understand it. Okay. Okay, please. So, if we can, everybody can grab at the same time. Uh, I know. So, I I'm know. happy that it's been ready. So, we'll still go back to view. You know, okay. watch it all over again to get more understanding. Okay. The, the 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 game of support Hello? and resistance is where I am. Yes. I'm, I'm, and I actually understand that you say where those candles clusters, which you noted, they are crystals that they are bound to repeat themselves. 
Fine. When, when you see the, the candle, candle, the candle fine. cluster, yeah. But how to when identify? I see, whenever I see candlestick cluster, a candle a cluster, cluster, then it, it should, yeah. Yes. So I'm sort of that one. Then, uh, but now how to identify the candle cluster? The next, uh, uh, the next, is it going to be support that is going to match in, match together, or is it going to be the resistance mm -hmm. to the to the past history? That's where we are yet to get it, sir. Okay. When the price, or well, let's take it this way. Let's assume. Let's assume that we we were buying. See. Let's assume we're buying from here. Buying. Do you understand me? Yeah. Let's assume we were oh, buying okay. from I'm here. seeing it. Okay, now we were buying from here. Yeah. We were, as at the time we entered this trade to buy, we'll be looking for a way to take profit. The place we'll be looking for take profit, the place our take profit level will be to check the history of the charts history of the chart and we saw where candles were clustering here meaning that there was something uh, yes. that was rejecting the price here so if yeah. i buy here i'll place my stock my take profit here let's check how many pips enter a buy here and you take profits here that is about 1200 1, 1,300 pips, about 1,300 pips. So let's say you are taking only 1,000 pips. You should be able to take profits before this level, before this level. Why do you want to take yeah. profit before this level? Yes. You are taking profit before this level because this place has it was the history. Was a, was, a, was a key level, call it key level. Yeah. Are we together? Mm -hmm. Now it broke Bro out. Please take note of other salient point. Take note of this one. When price, when price breaks above a resistance, or when price breaks below a support, is someone hearing me? It's noisy. Yes, yes. yes. Anytime price breaks below a support, the support is below, or when price breaks above a resistance it must retest that level. Am I understood? No, please repeat. Anytime price breaks below a support, it must retest. Or recent. It must retest. Or resistance, it must retest. Are you okay now? Or oh, above resistance. Yeah. Look at here. Remember, we took a buy here, about 1,000 pips, we took profit and stayed out of the market because we saw something like this in the history. Mm -hmm. Now, when the price broke out again, you don't rush to enter. This is the problem that you were discussing earlier. Someone will just see it break out and you enter. That is called aggressive trade strategy. Okay. Conservative traders, when they exited the trade here because of this level of cluster, yeah. will wait for it to break out. And after they break out, the next thing you'll see is what? Coming down. Retest. Uh, into the... It will retest that level it broke out. Okay. Okay, that it break the, it break the resistance. And retest. And Yes. I return to form it with support. Fine. Yes. Yes, so that yeah. former resistance becomes future what? Support. Support. Do you, have you ever heard the word false breakout before in any analysis? Someone said that the market has false breakout. Yes. yes. Okay. False breakout. So, that it is mm -hmm. false. False breakout is that the market broke out of this resistance and came back inside. Came back to break it as a uh, support now. It break it up and break it in again. Uh, okay, it's called what, sir? False breakout. Hmm. So what's the advantage you are taking here? Sorry? 
as force uh, f o r c e no f a l s e okay force in okay force, then force. so what's the lesson sir the lesson is that you must be a conservative a conservative trader always wait for a breakout and retest before you buy okay always wait for a break below and retest before you sell if it is a false breakout we shouldn't if it is false breakout if you are conservative you will not be you will not be in the trade within those periods uh, because you'll be waiting for it to retest before you okay. buy but when it came back it passed back inside is that understood Mr. Bam, please repeat again. He said always wait for a breakout and retrace before you buy. And a retest of the level that broke, that it broke. Breakout, okay. Can you start a buy or a sell? Breakout, retest. Yeah. yeah, breakout, so retest. Breakout, retest. Mm. Conservative traders wait for a breakout We are getting something, we are getting something. Break out retest before they buy. This will help you to avoid what is called false breakout. Okay. Hmm. Are we together there? Yes. So when you detect the trend number two, so when you break it is sorry. I asked Hello? the question is, is it when it breaks in that you sell? We have not taken we have not gone. We are. We are still going on the web. Let me. Let me. Let me. Take note of this. The noise is much. Take note of this, please. Whatever your trading system is. Take note of this. Whatever your trading system is. Or whatever your trading strategy is, there are two things I'm mentioning there: trading system and trading strategy. What we do the differences? Whatever your trading system is, or whatever your trading strategy is, it must give you an entry. It must give you an exit. It must give you two exits. Exits in profits and exits in uh, loss. In loss, in risk. Are we together here? Yes. Whatever your trading strategy is, the echoes are disturbing. What do I do? Do I mute everybody? Uh, mute everybody. Mute. Once everybody is mute, let them type in questions if they have one. So you can answer it okay. from there. Okay. Allow participants to unmute themselves. Okay, yes, for once again, if it disturbs again, I will mute everybody and will not allow one to unmute. Okay. When whatever your trading system is or whatever your own trading strategy is, there are two different things. Please, that trading strategy or that trading system should help you detect trend, trend reversal, trend retracement. That is one. Number two, that system or strategy should be able to help you give an entry and exit, two exits. One exit in profit, one exit in um, loss. If your system cannot give you when to enter and when to exit, that system is incomplete. If your strategy cannot tell you when to enter and when to exit, it is incomplete. At that juncture, you will be running helter skelter in the market and you will be called a gambler. But if you have a system that tells you when to enter and when to exit, you will place your trade and go to sleep. 
because you enter at the right time. It's all about, it's a business of time. If you miss the time, don't go again. Whoever that misses the entry position or entry price that was given by his or her trading system or strategy should not enter that trade again. Because when you enter that trade, you are now pursuing the price. Automatically, you'll be disorganized. You'll not even know what is happening. You will not notice when it's retracing. If you miss the entry price that was offered to you by your trading strategy or system, stay out of that particular trade. It is a timely business. It has offered an entry, everybody entered. You were not around, don't enter again. Reasons are like this. Your stop loss cannot be at the wrong position. You can decide where to keep your take profit, but please don't manage stop loss. Don't manage stop loss. Don't keep stop loss at the wrong place. Your trading system will show you exactly where your stop loss should be. I don't know, I may digress, but what I mean is this. Manage your loss size, don't manage your stop loss. If you enter your trade at when your trading system told you to enter, your stop loss will be normal. If you enter your trade at a wrong timing, after every other person had gone, your stop loss will be abnormal. As such, if you are taking such risk, According to the question Mrs. Deborah asked earlier, you must take it with a lower lot size. For instance, if you are trading 1.0 lot, by this time you are taking this wrong decision because of wrong timing, you have to reduce it to 0 0.5 or 0 0.05. When we go to risk management, I'm going to show you that. But now what I'm saying here is this, your system should show you entry, should show you exit. What we have just discussed now, please take note, I have not yet shown you entry or exit. We have detected the trend from the bigger time frame, which is the chairman. When it comes to trend, the bigger time frame remains the chairman. When we now come to support and resistance, we have detected it already. That is the second responsibility that we have to, what does what we call chart markup? We've been able to detect it. And another thing I did not show you in trend is drawing a trend line. This trend line, we call it trend line, but at, it, it, is, it is called, in the game of support and resistance, it is a diagonal resistance or a diagonal support. So it is still support and resistance. This is horizontal. If you come here, you see, draw horizontal line you see draw vertical line, and uh, this is trend line. So the trend line is actually showing us, let me see a trend line, I take it from here, I draw it freehand to anywhere I like, any place I like, I hold it, it's free. So all I'll do is to bring it down until it touches, it has touched. So trend line is connecting one high to the next available high, There's something I would do. Let me try it, but I don't want to confuse you. Who understands what I've just done? You should take from here. Who has seen what I've done and what does it mean? We are trying, are to, connect trying to connect too high. Sorry? We are connected to high from the first high to the second high. Okay. And uh, one I have this high at the same the one at the same time. That is the thing the the, the, the low the, the low high. I have changed from I think it, Yeah, you took away the candles. You changed it to a line chart. No. What do I why do I do that? For you to connect so the you, end, the closing positions. 
Thank you. I am. I am feeling. I'm doing a thing. For you to the higher highs. I'm trying to filter the noise. Yes. Thank there you. A lot of people are talking at the same time. Please just mute everybody up on. What I did by taking it from candlesticks back to line chart, I was trying to ignore the noise. This noise. This noise. We call it noise. In technical, we call it noise. We take it back here, you see that there was nothing like this. <laughs> there was nothing like this. So we, we, we filtered the noise and got the real thing drawn. So this is a diagonal resistance. If I take it from the down to the top, that will be a diagonal support. So we call it trend line, drawing trend line, freehand, connect it to the next available low. At this point, we have a triangle. Connecting low, point A to point B, and projecting into the future. And automatically, the point C now acknowledges this. History keep repeating itself. History keep repeating itself. History of 2010 repeated itself 2018, and also again repeated itself 2017 February. Acknowledges that level. Diagonal support, diagonal resistance. That is one thing you have, we've done. So we have done trend. We have noted that trend is from the bigger time frame. We have done support and resistance. I would move straight to, to what's my time left? Wow. What else should I add there? I want us to be able to see how to take a trade. I think we should look for yeah, something Libasone. like, sorry? Mm -hmm. Libasoni or something like that you mentioned before. Entry and exit. Okay. Entry and exit. Okay. Let's talk about entry and exit. I will talk about okay. candlesticks formations. But I don't know my time for today. Candlesticks, let's list a few things that we can use to enter a trade. The major thing that is used conventionally, it's called price action. That is the language of the candle. Medical field has their language and terminologies. Every profession has theirs. In the forex industry, our language and the language of the price that a trader in Abuja here, a trader in Port Harcourt, a trader in UK, a trader in New York, whenever he gets to pounds Canadian dollar, he will see what the what I'm seeing here, you'll be able to see what I'm, all of us will have the same thing. We see the same thing. It's because the price has its own language. So the language of the market we are trading is the candlesticks. And this candlesticks was discovered about 250 years ago. If you check my page, you see the right top yesterday about the brief history of the candlestick. But 250 years ago, 1750 something, 1750 the candlesticks and it's very it gives more information and everybody are using the candlesticks from the stocks market futures commodities everybody are using the candlesticks the man that discovered the candlestick was a, a rice seller so candlesticks has the language so that any trader that sees this chart anywhere in the world will go straight to the important information the chart has given Take note, we discovered the trend was bearish. We discovered that from our Fibonacci rate retracement tool, we have discovered that the price has retraced between the, the journey of uh, from the high on the June, on June, June 2016, to the low of uh, January 2017, which was approximately about 3,373 3, pips. 50% of that will be this, that will be 1,006. 
but it has retraced up to 61% of that. That's one thing we have seen. The trend is bearish, the retracement is accomplished at 61.8%. What are we looking for to enter the trade? What should make us sell now? What should make us sell now? If we are selling now, what, why should we sell? One reason from this chart, let's learn. One reason is because we have seen the history that we, in the history repeating itself here, we have seen former key level at this price, 7786, seven, that had been in the history from time immemorial. Let's check the history. History, 2014. 2014. When I touch the candle, it shows the details down. I may not be able to show you, but now you have seen the history. This level was a resistance 2018 December, 2018 December, support 2014 September, support 2014 November, support 2015 January, 9 January. This level became resistance again 2016. March 2016, August 2016, 16 September, and it has now, price have now come back here to this level. And this level is actually 61.8% retracement of the entire price bearish movement. And this is former support, former resistance, as long as the history backdates. So this level, every trader globally from New York, from Wall Street, are watching at this level. What are they watching out for? A breakout or a, bow, uh, a bounce back. Either it breaks out or it, it, it acknowledges that level and comes back. So what would everybody waiting for? Everybody will be waiting for the candle to tell us what to do. The candle is the language of the price. The candle will tell everybody what to do. And everybody will be watching for what the candle says at this given level. Is the candle telling us to wait? Is the candle telling us to go? Is the candle telling us to exit? Or should we enter? What is the candle saying? That is why candlesticks cannot be ignored. Candlesticks cannot be ignored because that is the language of the price. Now we zoom in. We are done. From trend, we do not need the candle. Support resistance, we do not need the candle. Now we want to see what the candle says after we have acknowledged these levels. The candle is saying what at this level. One. But for us in IML, for those in IML, you have other tools to help you. I mentioned the harmonic pattern scanner on the 5th of May that gave us a sell here. And harmonic pattern scanner actually sold at 61.8. Exactly this. Check this blue line. 61.8. This is when this is when harmonic picked the trade. Harmonic picked the trade here. So harmonic pattern scanner gives us more pips than price action, than candlesticks. From my experience, I've seen that I say it, you can quote me. The harmonic pattern scanner we are using gives us more pips than the candlesticks. Why? Because this is where the harmonic, I remember this 61 exactly was the entry price for harmonic pattern. It has taken us up to 132 pips. Meanwhile, why do I say so? This is the on, this is the entry price for price action traders, for action candlestick traders. This becomes the entry price. This is when everybody that is trading candlesticks will be selling. This is where they should be selling. Why? This is where candlestick traders will be selling at about 130 something pips or 180 pips after harmonic pattern had entered, made 130 pips, and this is when we trading candlesticks are about to sell. Reasons is because of what? Inverted hammer. Inverted hammer. The week of this candle is, if this candle is divided by three, the body is one third of the candle and the week on the top is two third of the candle. Inverted hammer. 
where the inverted hammer occur under the resistance zone under 61.8, not above, not above, which should be now support, but under and under the 61.8 retracement level, not above also. Now, when this candle, inverted hammer, added to this green candle, being a bullish candle, we now have a trade setup called bearish shooting star. Please take note. Bearish shooting star, combination of a bullish candle and a bearish inverted hammer makes it bearish shooting star. The opposite of this will be called bullish shooting star. Where this happens down, that will be called bullish shooting star. Bullish shooting star. Bullish shooting star. Where that happens, the opposite of that happens in the down. I'm not seeing one yet. But take notes because of timing. So this makes it a bearish shooting star. So candlestick traders will actually be selling from this price. Meanwhile, harmonic pattern traders have started selling from here, making over 130 pips while we now start selling from here. When we had this entry sell, we now waited for a breakout of this range. It took us into this and stayed in here, stayed in here. Some people rushed out of the trade. This is when the minus was in, minus in, minus. People rushed out until it broke at this level and see where the price ended last week, Friday. And this is where I exited the trade. This is where price ended last week, Friday. So, Price action traders, trading candlestick, the language of the candlestick will trade this bearish shooting star because it forms under 61.8 at a retracement level, because it is forming below a resistance that we have seen has history back to 2000 or 1998. That history still keep repeating itself. And now we have seen, us, seen ourselves back there. And the price action candlestick says with this Bear inverted hammer with this long body bullish candle. I say this is called bearish shooting star. This alone gives us an entry price at the open of the next candle, the close and open of the next candle, which is now about 130 pips later than the harmonic pattern scanner. Those that trade the harmonics already made 100 and something pips, 130 pips. And we are now entering here, staying with the price. We, the price, the scanner gave us 500 pips. I remember I mentioned that we have a possibility of about 500 pips in the setup. And exactly 500 pips is where we ended last week, Friday. That is, we have detected the trend. We have detected support and resistance. We have been able to detect the trend reversal or retracement level. And we are now looking for something to tell us to buy or sell. And that thing that you tell us to sell or buy, one, technically is the harmonic pattern scanner. Two, technically is the candlesticks. And the candlesticks formation is where under a resistance, not above. The bearish setup, bearish, bearish shooting star forms below a resistance, not on top. We respect setups that conforms with the trend, respect setups that forms bearish under resistance or form bullish above support. You don't just take any setup. And that has given us between the feet of May, feet of May, whoever took this trade is having 500 pips. If you add the one the scanner gave us, that would be 632 pips. So the scanner gives us earlier entrance than even the candlesticks. That is one analysis we have done successfully. We have been able to detect the entry price. And now, what should be our stop loss? Our stop loss should never, never, never come in between the resistance or support zone. Please take note. 
if you are selling at the right entry price, being that you are selling a cell setup, a candlestick formation below a resistance, and that candlestick setup says we should sell, or if Hamoy Scanner confirmed, confirmed it too. Now, when you are selling from that place, please, your stop loss must be outside the resistance, a bull resistance. Your stop loss must be a bull resistance. At this context, our stop loss must be above the 61.8%. And I suggest 15 pips, 15 pips from here, considering the spread of, on, on your account, at least the maximum spread given by standard, given by regulators, at least the standard spread for Euro USD or call it the, 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 the Euro USD, that is a major, is about between is between one and uh, five and five. Some brokers give us at zero point five. Some brokers give us at one. Some give us one point something depending on your type of account. Then the dealing decks can give you at three, can give you at five. But when the competition is there, brokers try to bring down their spread. So some people choose brokers brokerage accounts based on the spread. That's why some people choose zero spread accounts. So now, depending on the spread, I prefer at least 15 pips above this level. This is when your stop loss should be. Let's take, if you are trading this, because I know the scanner took us here and gave his stop loss above here. If you are trading the candlestick, your stop loss should be, this is the high of this candle, 139 pips plus 15. That will be 140 plus 15, that will be 155 pips. About 155 pips here. 1.786, 1.7865. That is a stop loss. You cannot compromise with stop loss. Rather, 158 pips. Wow, it's too much for my account. 158 pips for my account. I'm risking only 2% of my account. That takes me into risk management now. I'm to risk 3% of my equity. 3% of my $1,000 is $30. $30 divided by 150 or 155. How much? And uh, if I get the result, please divide the result by 10, being the value of a standard lot. Being the value of a standard lot. When that happens, you are good to go. I scheduled this meeting for two hours. I don't know if it will give me option to extend or it will end on its own. But let me have a question. If you have understood me, we will have to meet again by tomorrow after the public holiday to see possible trade positions. In the next two minutes, the market will open and you are going to see the movement start. I have some analysis on Euro USD. I have some analysis Hello, on Mr. USD card. Yes. By, tomorrow by what time? It should be same time. Are you, yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, John. Any question? Okay, me not, me not to the Euro US. Sorry. Hello. Hello. In middle yes. of the our, our stop loss should not be between the uh, support and resistance. If you are selling, but your stop you loss selling. will be outside the resistance level. If you are buying, that's outside. Yes, buying it should should be inside the support level. Okay, by 15 pe uh, pip. Sorry? By 15 pip. Can we get can we get analysis, please? The ones you've analyzed. Trades you've analyzed. Um that's what I'm saying. I don't know if this guy will stop on his own or it will give me it does not give me option to it will just extent. it's just end on its own. It will end on its own, it won't extend if it was two hours. <laughs> okay, um, uh, I want to ask uh, the the trade is it's uh, a harmonic pattern scanner uh listen analysis. Is it harmonic pattern scan analysis or just your own? So, just this one. This one. The Euro, Euro card and Euro USD you talked about. Euro USD. Pounds yeah. card. With Euro USD. We have it. Yeah, Euro USD is in scanner. Okay. Okay. No Euro no Euro USD. Euro USD is already active in scanner. It was the entry price. It's already few pips in profit. Let's check for. Wow.
If a guy would not have, it would be better. It would be better. It doesn't know. Euro G. Um, G -B -D. The market is open. Uh, the market is open. Um, Euro. Hello. Hello. Yes. Yes. We actually need to go this in over again. We are getting it. We are, I mean, I'm getting it gradually, but I think I need to go once more. Resistance, trend, and all those major. It's right for the, um, yeah, yeah, for us to decide our, our trend. So, if you can stop here, then let us continue it next time. This is, this is a one month program of, I promised to do by the grace of God. Okay. Euro GBP it, has a setup here already. The, the market is open. Hello, Mr. Bon. Mr. Yes, Ivan. Sir. Yes, sir. Please, please, can you go through this uh, stop loss? You are talking about if, we, if you are buying, where should the stop loss be? Is it above the resistance level or in the line? Yes. Not in the line. Okay, if above the resistance. If you are buying, yes, you are buying. under under support, we, we, your stop we. loss should be under support. Okay, okay if you are buying, I'm I'm listening. Okay, this is resistance. This is sixty one point eight retracement. In our resistance level at this point. If you are selling, make sure your stop loss is not anywhere inside be between your entry price and stop loss. Your stop loss should be outside the resistance level. Above, yeah. At this context, we use the high. High is the high of this candle. Take 10 pips above the high, 15 pips above the high. If you are selling, if you are selling, if you are buying 10 pips below the low, when you have that okay, not 15 pips. Sorry? Not 15 pips as uh, above the resistance? Above the high. The, okay, it's 15 pips. You know what I mean by high? No. Uh, the resistance now. The high is the highest point of the previous candle. The highest point. Highest price. Where it attained and come back. Yeah, this one ended here. This high is, this is a high. I don't know if you understand my definition of high. If you will not be confused, I'll give you my definition of high. Should I? Please give us, give us. A high the highest high or a high is the high of a candle that two candles before it and two candles after it does not contest. <coughs> Am I understood? Am I understood? Yeah. Two candles. A high is what? A high is the highest candle where two, two, two candles before and two candles after does not contest. Candle. Two candles before and two candles after. There is no contest. So this makes it the high. In this context, this is the high. The candle here, this one, is the highest price. This one. Two candles before it, two candles after it does not contest. So we take this as a high. I can easily see this in a smaller time frame. So when we sold here, our stop loss is 15 pips above this. 136 plus 15. That will be one forty. That will be eleven. One fifty one. One five one. Okay. 
So our stop loss here is 1.7862. Uh, 1.7862. And take note, since we enter that trade, since we enter that trade, the price has keep, kept coming back here, has kept coming back to this 61.8, but has not taken out this high. So our stop loss remain intact. We will stay in this trade even for one week, even for one month. We will stay there negative, but our stop loss will not be taken out. And as of now, for those that join the trade, had, uh, they are still on profit between then and now. Even the new candle opening now. 497, 519 pips. The new candle have just opened for the day, for the week. For which one? Which one? Pounds, Canadian dollar. From the entry price, the inverted hammer, or the very shooting star, there had been a sell, and it's still selling till now. So can we enter as so? well? There's no entry point again. Remember I said this, we missed the entry. Yeah. Okay. If you did not enter when it gave an entry, you cannot enter again. Okay. okay. That, would be, that would be risking your account. You can't, you don't try to enter again because there is nothing that tells, you, tells us to sell again. Those that sold it, sold it here. Those that sold it, sold it here. Engulfing pattern, engulfing candle. Those that sold it had another opportunity to sell it here. And after then, there's no more entry price again. After that, no more entry price again. Okay. All right. Let me run analysis here. USD, Euro USD. Euro USD. I will not, this is not class, this is just an analysis. Euro USD. Two, year 2000, started buying till 2008. And from 2008, it keeps forming lower highs. Lower highs. So from 2008 till now, Euro USD is bearish. That is one fact we have established. We come to weekly, it's the same thing, the same trend. We come to daily, we now see that it's forming higher highs and higher lows. Higher highs and higher lows. From 2005, right? From 280, it's been selling. But on the daily, we now saw it forming higher highs and higher lows. Yes, after two eight upwards to two ten two nine. Good. So at this point, what we have discovered is that price have been in this level, have been in this That's level for a while. It came here two thousand and fifteen. 2015 August, 2016 May, April, it has not broken this level. It has not broken this level. So this level, weekly, daily. From the movement, from the bullish movement now, including the gap. The bullish movement now, higher lows, higher highs. We have seen a cluster here for how many days? One, two, three, four, five days. Today is Monday. Today is the first day for the week, not at the opening now. It has given us a bearish setup here. So whatever we are selling here, we are selling because of the resistance level. We are selling because of this resistance level. 1.3. Please take note. Take note. Resistance and support usually occur at round numbers. 1,300. 1,300. 
Pontrande has acted as a resistance for too many years. For too many years. Too many years. Let's check. It has acted since 1997. has been a key level since 1997. 1997, it was a support. 1997 in November was a support. Now in 2003, December, it was a support. Started acting as resistance since 2015 till now, and price is back to 1,300. Meanwhile, the overall trend is bearish since 2008. So now we are at a resistance level at 1.3. At 1.300, we are now at we are now at a resistance level. At that level, everybody is watching out for candlesticks. And the candlestick formation we have here is a bearish mm -hmm. dark Call it dark cloud cover. Dark cloud cover. Dark cloud cover. Dark cloud cover. So with this dark cloud cover on daily time frame, one can actually start selling. I don't know if you... Did, the scanner gave us this cell uh, last week. Who saw it? You know USD cell from the harmonic pattern scanner. I yes, did. I did. I did. I did. I did tell it, but uh, I I jumped out because there was a there was a retracement. I was I was in a loss, so I left the trade like that. Okay. I wasn't very sure. Okay, that is the advantage of this session we are having. The scanner yeah, gave yeah. us a cell. I remember even the white trade gave us a cell. Now, whatever cell we are having at this level, our stop loss should be outside 1,300. Yeah. Our stop loss should be outside 1,300. I remember that I was using 1,255. 1,300. 100 plus 15, that will be 1315. 1315. 100 plus 15. That will be 1315. That is the normal stop loss. 1315. Your stop loss must be outside this resistance. Take note round numbers. Round numbers are very key support and resistance levels. You mean uh, even numbers, sir? Huh? One that's zero zero five zero. Anywhere you have a whole number, okay, round, number. round or whole number. What do we call it? One point three hundred, one point three zero, one point three fifty. I was in Lagos when the dollar was four ninety five, four eighty. I was discussing that five hundred. Is, 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 a, is a resistance level because it's a round number. And after that, we are going to experience a lower high. So the lower high we have now is about 380. After the lower high, we shall be experiencing a higher high again. The higher high must break 500. Sorry? So if you still have this cell set up on the scanner, please don't miss the trade. The stop loss must be above 1,300. We would not change our position here. Rather, rather, the price can keep retesting this level. Price can keep retesting this level, waiting for Friday. Remember what we said for Friday? Price can stay yeah. here waiting for Friday. To either break down or break up. Yes. Price will hang around here. It is one hour, four hours now. Price will stay here and wait for Friday. Former resistance, now support. Former resistance, now support. Price can hang around here waiting for Friday. And then it could go in any direction. Please confirm that, uh, 
Come on. It could go in any direction, either up or down, right? Okay. It could go the, either depending on the result. Or down. The Are we together? Yes. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Okay. But for now, what the price is telling everybody universally. Eh? What the price is telling everybody universally from the candlestick formation here below a resistance that has history from 1997, below 1.300, the candlestick stays with tell, which is price information. It, this, it says we just sell again, forming an evening star with these three candles. It says to sell, forming a dark cloud cover. Two setups under 1.3, 1.13. Under 1.13, all the setups are bearish. So whoever is selling is not taking a wrong decision. It is now left for the fundamental of Friday to move the price to our take profit or move the price and break the resistance level. If you break the resistance level, it will take you out. Their stop loss will take you out. The, the fundamental of Friday can move the price again back to 1.13 and come back again. But remember that we still have one business here. Who have noticed this? We still have one finished business here. Have you noticed? It's a gap. It's a gap. Yes. So the, we still have possible scenarios of back to this level of support. We still have possible scenarios of back to this level of resistance to close the gap. But the most common one is 61.8. 61.8 of the entire movement from here to here. A, B, and possible C between 50 and 61.8. When this happens, the price will go back again to the upside. But for now, one, two, three, four, five days, the whole of last week, there was no movement in Euro USD. Mm -hmm. But the harmonic pattern scanner gave us a sell signal. The candlestick has given us a sell signal, and we cannot do otherwise at this point than to sell or wait. But if you wait, please don't miss the entry. This is the entry price. Anything within this level between 1.13 and here remains our entry price. If you miss the entry and you start running down, don't enter again. Let's try end it. Let's end it for today. Any question? It's been a good one today, Abba. Well done. It's been very good. Please keep your trading system simple. Try and keep it simple. Ensure that you don't have too many things that confuse you. Remember, I said that in the industry. Nigerians were gimmicks as, as indicators traders. You should avoid that name. Try and understand the price action phase before you add indicator to your trading. When you understand these ones, any indicator you bring in, you will be able to interpret. Outside, if you don't understand the basics, you will not understand any other indicator. Please. Let's see how we can make this happen. Um, when are we meeting again? Tuesday? 8 p.m. Monday 8 p.m. Sorry. Monday 8 p.m. Or Tuesday. Which one do we meet? Monday 8 p.m. Okay. Thank you very much for today. Thank you.